Say vives vin in uh, Congo, uh, vini outis uh, McDonald's. N none ni manjos in McDonald's. Yeah. So um, I wanted, I was reading the Universal Language, the complete textbook by John O'Connor and Lazar Zemenhof, Ludwig Lazar Zemenhof. Um, and I was reading last week, I read about a little bit about how he, um, why you should pick up Esperanto. Now he's talking about the difficulty in how he uh, fixed the problem of an international language with the difficulties that he had. Uh, first of the problems was solved in the following manner. I simplified the grammar to the utmost, and while on the one, one hand, and I carried out my object in the spirit of the existing modern languages, in order to make the study as free from difficulties as possible, on the other hand, I did not deprive it of clearness, exactness, and flexibility. My whole grammar can be learned perfectly in one hour. The immense alleviation given to the study of a language by which a grammar must be self-evident to everyone. I established rules for the formation of new words and at the same time reduced to a very small compass the list of words absolutely ne necessary to be learned without, however, depriving language of the means of becoming a rich one. On the contrary, thanks to the possibility of forming from one root word any number of compounds expressive of every conceivable shade of idea, I made it the richest of the rich amongst modern tongues. This I accomplished by the introduction of numerous prefixes and suffixes, by whose aid the student is enabled to create new words for himself, without the necessity of having previously uh, uh, to learn them. For example, the prefix mal denotes the direct opposite of any idea. For if, for instance, we know the word for good, bona, we can immediately form that for bad, malbona, and hence the necessity of a special word for bad is obviated. In a like manner, alta, high, tall, mal alta, low, short, esteemy, to respect, malesteemy, to despise. Consequently, if one has learned this single word, mal, he is relieved of learning a long string of words such as hard, cold, old, dirty, distant, darkness, shame, to hate, etc., etc. The suffix in marks the feminine gender, and thus if we know the word brother, frato, we can form sister, fratino, and also father, patro, mother, patrino. By this device, words like grandmother, bride, girl, hen, cow, etc. are done away with. The suffix ill indicates an instrument for a given purpose, e.g. trenchy, to cut, tranchillo, a knife. So words like comb, axe, bell, etc. are rendered unnecessary. So ill indicates an instrument, a tool, or an instrument for a given purpose. Let me see, tranchy, to cut and tranchillo, a knife. In the same manner are employed many other affixes, some fifty in all, which the reader will find in the vocabulary. Moreover, as I have laid it down as a general rule that every word already regarded as international, the so-called foreign words, for example, undergoes no change in my language, except such as may be necessary to bring it into conformity with the international orthography, innumerable, innumerable words become superfluous, e.g. locomotive, telegraph, nerve, temperature, center, form, public, platinum, figure, wagon, comedy, and hundreds more. By the help of these rules and others, which will be found in the grammar, the language is rendered so exceedingly simple that the whole labor in learning 
consists in community memory some 3,000 words, which number includes all the grammatical inflections, prefixes, etc. With the assistance of the rules given in grammar, anyone of ordinary intellectual capacity may form for himself all the words, expressions, and idioms in ordinary use. Even these 3,000 words, as will be shown directly, are so chosen that the learning them offers no difficulty to a well-educated person. Thus, the acquirement of this rich, mellifluous, universally comprehensible language is not a matter of years of laboratory study, but the mere light amusement of a few days. Yeah, brilliant, man. You did good, dude. Yeah. It's kind of still picture the whole, some of it, until the last barrier.